Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. The other day I received my copy of Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team and I did a, I was going to say a little unboxing, but it wasn't a little unboxing, it was, an, it was a mammoth 50 minute unboxing. Um, and one of the things that I was quite excited about um, in the Kill Team box set was all of the lovely new scenery. So I thought I would do a quick follow up video having assembled the scenery. Look, here's a piece of the scenery. Ta-da! Um... Yeah, so uh, it's modular scenery, um, and you get a metric ton of it. And it, because it's modular, you can put it together in lots of different ways. But the game comes with instructions for assembling it in one specific kind of way. Um, it doesn't give you loads of different options and say you can do this, you can do this, you can do that. Um, it gives you one set of instructions for using all of the components to create several pieces that you can combine together to make interesting battlefields and then if you want to you can go off piste and you can do your own thing you can start figuring out different ways to link all these different components together um, to create your own fantastic scenery or even combining it with um sector mechanicus terrain um to come up with some new and interesting things and in the newest edition of white dwarf uh, there is um, some nice photographs and things showing different ways that you can combine these um, these components together but anyway like i say i followed the instructions um, the reason i did that is because um, i didn't want to think too much about how i was assembling things i wanted to get them assembled quickly and having quickly flicked through the instructions it looked like a good mix of what you were doing. It was like two, uh, there's one big structure, one one small structure, and then lots of walls and things. And um, and yeah, it's really nice stuff. It is really detailed, as you would expect, and it goes together really, really easily. Um, take this little piece, for example. Um, we've got one broken wall section, which actually had half of a molded pillar on it and then you had to assemble it by attaching the other half of the pillar to create the full pillar and then at that point this is where it becomes modular because you can actually attach things coming off of any like this wall structure I've actually got it got it coming off at a right angle but you could actually have that bit of wall coming off on any of these edges or you could attach it to one of the different wall sections um, so it, it was all about sort of butting up to and coming off of these these pillars in different directions um, these pillars are literally the cornerstones of the of the assembly process and each each piece has regular regular columns regular pillars um, giving you options to sort of create like T shapes and, and so you can go off in lots of different directions and do lots of cool stuff um, but this is a very, very simple structure. It is nicely detailed. It's got, um, you know, it's suitably all busted up and it's got nice, nice battle damage on it and exposed metal work under the stonework and things like that. Um, the only downside, um, really, and this is something that is true of lots of ruin kits or ruin terrain, is that it looks a little bit like, you know, sort of a Hollywood prop house. It's, um, what film is it where they go into the town and then um, all the fronts of the houses collapse and it turns out and it reveals that they're on a film? Is it Blazing Saddles? I want to say Blazing Saddles. Um, yeah, let me know if I'm wrong or, or tell me which movie I'm thinking of. But um, yeah, there's a movie where they get they sort of ride into town and then all the fronts of the houses fall down and it's, it's revealed that they're on a, on a Hollywood lot. And that's a little bit what you get here with the with these ruins. It's it's very much you know there's. This isn't really how buildings collapse, leaving leaving sort of a void on either side. But obviously, um, it does what it's intended to do. Um, it creates um, blocking terrain, obscuring terrain. You can stick your guns through the through the remains of the windows and shoot at other people. Duck down and hide. Um, Kill Team does have um, its core rules. Don't include anything in terrain other than you can climb up and over. But there are advanced rules which cover the sort of thing that you'd see in Shadow War Armageddon or Necromunda in terms of climbing up, jumping across between, you know, if if, it's, if buildings are a certain distance apart, I think it's two inches, you can actually leap across. Um, you can leap over pipes and things if they're less than one and a half inches high or one and a half inches wide, you can actually just vault the whole thing. So um, there are there are sort of advanced rules for for interacting with the terrain but um still in a relatively simple way because uh, kill team 
does and i like this a lot it, it keeps keeps things simple um and that's good because it makes it more of a sort of pick up and play sort of game it's it's lifting very heavily from the uh, 8th edition Warhammer 40k rule set, which I really like because it is such a nice streamlined rule set. Um, very quick to pick up and play. Anyway, we've been looking at this one piece of terrain for blooming ages, and it's the least interesting bit. Let's look at some other stuff. So, yeah, the um, the uh, instructions basically break the... Uh, the the ruins or the, or the terrain into three sections. The first section they just call the ruins, um, and it's these broken down wall sections again we're getting some really nice detailing here this is uh, motifs that, that follow through in um the pipework sets and the um the other structures in um the sector mechanicus stuff so you can actually um these will fit with the pipes and things so you could actually have a pipe coming off of there if you wanted to and things like that um and again, it's, it's it's exactly the same same build structure, but obviously just a different different wall piece. So you've got the wall piece, which has half of the uh, half of the pillar molded onto it. You stick the other half of the pillar on to to create the complete set, and then you have this extra wall section, which sticks on here. Um, yeah, it's very simple, and you get two two like that. So. Like I say, this with it being modular, you, know, you didn't have to have to assemble it the, just this way. But that's just two bog standard break up the line of sight wall sections, and, and they're they're a decent size to go go sort of anywhere. I've got a little man here. This is my this is my favourite Death Guard. Um, absolutely love this miniature. Um, one of my favourite Warhammer Forty K miniatures. Uh, this one. It came from the No No Fear box set, um, which is the mid-range starter set for Warhammer 40k. Um, I got First Strike and No No Fear, so I've got quite a, quite a good selection of Death Guard and Pox Walkers, which I will be using to make my kill team. But anyway, you can see he um, he can stick his gun through there. So yeah, it's it's a good a good sort of a a good good size for small terrain that you can sort of drop into gaps and things like that. You go away for a minute, you can come back in a minute when we get some of the bigger stuff, because some of the bigger stuff in this set is mighty impressive. I'm not even going to be able to get it all in camera. This is the next size up, and this is actually made in several sections. I mean, you can, you can see where the sections are when you look at the base, but so you've basically got a wall section here, with half a pillar, other pillar to make that. This then, this wall section comes off of the, off of there, um, with, with another half pillar there, and then we've got another, another wall section. This wall section here, and then another pillar section, and then another wall section. So you can see how modular it is. It's literally wall pillar, wall pillar, wall pillar, um, and depending on, on how you want it to go, you can you can do different things. Like you know, you didn't have to have this piece ending here. You could have. You could have put another piece on there and come out this way and made it longer. Um, just had that one single piece there coming out there, so it was shorter on that edge and longer on this edge. It's it's like a little a little um, assembly kit, like a like a Meccano set or something. <laughs> that's a really that's a really I forget I said that. It's nothing like a Meccano set. Um, uh, yeah, so. You get that one, and then you get one which is actually sort of, it's different, but the same. It's it's an, it's the same sort of sort of thing, but it's going in the other direction, so, you know, you can, you can put them together like that. Make a complete um, perimeter. You know, do whatever you want with them. But yeah, so, that's the... Uh, mid-range ruins and then there's one more which is this one and this one just has a little, little little bit on the edge so yeah um you can see it's it's all it's using the same same broken wall sections i think there's there's um there's two frames you get eight frames total and it's uh, there's two of each frame so you will see some um some repeating motifs, for example, um, you can see um, that's actually the same wall section there and there. 
um, you can see the vent the fan and the same same pipe work there but um, used in two two different two different structures and so you don't have to follow slavishly all the uh, the instructions in the book um, I'm surprised it didn't actually give you more um, more options it give you more sort of um, alternative builds but it's already quite a big instruction manual because this is this is quite a project this um this ruins kit there's a lot to it i mean it goes together pretty quickly i mean it's not um it's not a, you know it's, it's relatively straightforward but there's a lot of it going on and you do have to you know make sure you get it together right this is the mid-size structure um i believe they just called this walls or something in the instructions um but you suddenly get really really tall really because obviously this is up to the first floor and uh so these are broken off before they get to the first floor so you can see that's you know it's got some serious height on uh on the oh, I've, I've dropped me plague marine oh no yeah oh, it's all right plague marines are very resilient they're blessed by nurgle you know um so yeah there's there's a little size comparison it's um Hello. Um, yeah, it's big. It's big old structures, um, and you actually get a little bit of um, a little bit of floor. You can actually, you know, get your people up on top, get some vantage, get some shooty positions going on, as long as you are, uh, you've got enough enough range to, to climb all the way up. Um, these go together in even though they, they they go up to the first floor the, the the wall bits are exactly the same you get wall wall half a pillar half a pillar punk um wall half a pillar punk and so on to create the shapes you want um and then you've got um underneath you've got these cool braces um they actually the, the braces go up to the height of this these skulls here but you actually cut off the row of skulls on on the braces that the floor is going to sit on there's like um, a little tab that just snips off and then the floor will sit directly on top of it and there's even like a nice little light like a little sylvanian family light underneath there just to cover up um, a point where they will connect um but yeah so you get the, the two braces just to give give it support and make it make sure it stands um and you can see that you get some extra little little broken bits just to just to fill out the corners so this uh this section here this one square here and then this broken square here that's one piece and then there's another piece here just to, just to kind of give it a rough edge so it doesn't have like a, a a really smooth finish there another little broken bit there little broken bit there little broken bit there and there and then some broken bits on the pillars here um and and that's that's pretty cool um it's also pretty cool because it is all modular um if you really want to you can uh you can uh, attach a bit on the top there um and, and make it a stretch structure that is one and a half floors things like that there's one more structure it's the big one it's humongous this is called the cloister um and it's uh it's got that going on. It's got a big arch thing. It's got me thinking now because I said, I said you get two of each frame, but there's only. Oh no, there is, there is, yeah, yeah, there is two arches. Yeah, there's one on the other side. I'm being a dunce. I was about to say there's only one archway, but there's not. There's another one there. Um. So that's that. Oh, that's that's a different arch though isn't it it's not the same arch oh mate oh, ignore me i'm talking rubbish um yeah maybe there is only one of that that maybe there's there's eight frames but two of them are unique i don't know there's definitely two of most of everything um because obviously as you can see here there's one of those and one there that's the, that's the same double piece so just reversed um it's a big old thing, isn't it? It's me little man. Um, I, think you could, I think you could probably fit Titan through there. 
like a, like a warhound or something, I guess, maybe. I don't know. What the, the mid-range and uh, mid-rangey thing's called, I don't know. But uh, yeah, there's, there's a, there's, it's high, it's plenty of space. Um, same assembly as before. That's really bugging me about that archway now. Um, I just double checked. Look, I looked through all of the frames. I married them up again into their sets. And yeah, there is eight frames. Um, but yeah, you don't get two of everything. You get two of A, you get two of B. You get three of frame C and only one of frame D. And frame D is the one that has the archway on. That's why you only get one of those archways. That's why I was wrong. So yeah, two of frame A, two of frame B, three of frame C and one of frame D. So there is some duplication across. You get you get a lot of uh, a lot of duplicate frames, but because of the way it all goes together, it all looks special and sparkly and new. And what else can I tell you? What else can I tell you? There's a few things um, to be aware of um, when you're assembling pillars. Um, you can actually assemble it so that some of the uh, see there's um see there's these little arches here. So they all need to point up. You can actually accidentally, when you're building some of these freestanding pillars here, there is a risk you could put the two halves on the, in opposite directions and have some of the arrows facing down. This can also happen on the tops. There's these little um, uh, caps that, that mark the top of the pillars. They've also got the little little arches and you can glue those on upside down as well if you're not paying attention so you just pay an extra bit of attention to make sure all of your bits are the right way up um this is very nice like i said this is two two solid bits and then there's um like um this is a half bit here and then th sorry, sorry that's a that's a bit there and then this is two half bits which um, they didn't need to go to the effort to do that, but you, you stick the two half bits together and it looks like there's bits breaking out and that is really cool. One of my favourite bits of the kit is just the way those two bits go together and look like it's all breaking out from the middle. And this bit, there's actually three bits. There's a bit there and a bit there and a bit there. Should create that hole in the middle. And um, yeah, little edge bits again, little broke, broken ed off edge bits and stuff. And um, there's even... Ow, there's, there's, I'll tell you what there is, there's a load of spikes on the other side of the archways and if you pick it up by that you can actually do yourself a bit of mischief with those. They're actually really, really sharp. I don't recommend you grab hold of that. Um, uh, yeah, uh, what was I going to show you? There's little, these little um, lights. These are kind of like the clips from the Sector Mechanicus um, kit because they help to hold it all together but they're just a little bit more attractive because they actually look like little lights and um interestingly there's a little manhole here that you can open up uh, and it's just a just a, a, a drop to your death on the other side there's nothing underneath it there's no ladder or anything it's just a drop to your untimely demise it's quite big isn't it it's, it's you know you get you get quite a few people up there having a bit of a bit of a kick off and you can do this you can put this bit there and then you, and then you can put that bit on there like that and, and then and then you can put that bit on up here and you've made a structure and then some it's like a a, a monstrous assembly but you can see um, how you can you can really go to town putting it all together and having a lot of fun with it. Um, but that's it. That's 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 your lot, really. I don't think there's anything else I need to say. Um, it, it goes together relatively straightforward, apart from like saying, make sure you get your pillars the right way up, make sure you get your end caps the right way up. Um, you get some leftover bits. Um, there's some little lights and things that you can stick on stuff, and there's a, a few extra end caps and things which you can put in your bits box for basing your model models and things like that and um it's a really good kit and if you're getting the kill team starter set and you're in the uk and you shop online you can get the starter set for about 64 pounds considering you get the 
Gene Steeler Colt, you get the Skitari, you get this cardboard mat, you get all of the scenery that I've just showed you, you get the massive rule book, which is 25 quid on its own. You get all of that, um, some tokens, uh, some little books of fluff, some decks of cards, some dice, a little whippy ruler, all for 64 quid. Can't complain at that. I now have between this, the set to Mechanicus stuff, um, all the other like pipes and crates and cranes and everything else, I have so much terrain, um, easily enough to fill like a full Warhammer 40k table um, this set alone this plastic ruins kit is more than enough to fill your standard kill team board the, the board that comes with the kit you can easily fill it um, you, you're not going to be sort of when um, uh, Shadow War Armageddon came out um, there, there wasn't quite enough terrain in that kit to really fill out the Armageddon tabletop this you definitely get enough it's a very generous kit and i really really think it's it's a good kit and a good deal and i had fun putting it together and i hope you had fun checking it out with me i'm gonna go away now bye everybody bye bye <laughs>